And when I got on the plane, having finished my, my work in Australia and was flying back to the UK, I didn't want to eat anything. Now, I'm a food lover. <laughs> I consider myself a bit of a foodie. In fact, eating is one of my great pleasures in life. So for me to be sitting on a plane, being offered things like scrambled eggs and smoked salmon and champagne, all, all of my favorite things, and to be turning them down and thinking, oh, I just, I don't even want a cup of tea. That was a bit of a warning sign, I think, for me. I mean, as if the other things shouldn't have been, they, they should have been, but it really, that was the moment, I think, for me, when I was on the plane, I didn't want to eat my favorite foods. I thought, hmm, this isn't quite right. And so when I got back <laughs> to the UK, that is when I finally noticed that my body was screaming at me that something was very seriously wrong. And if only I'd known that, sure, I was gonna have December off, but not to relax and recuperate, to have major surgery, to have a five centimeter tumor removed from my colon.